What's up? I'm Matt McFarland. Welcome to my gym. Get it up! There you go! Review the Dyna Body Power Press. See, we got five different hand grips, right? So that's five variations that you can bench from with this machine, right? And then the very top one up here, you also have a long handle. So if you want to blast the triceps or work that lockout strength, you're going to come here, really focus on the triceps. For that, I, I really like it for all those different variations, right? Another easy one you can do is wrap the band on this. You're gonna put it right here in the hand. Pull it across, and there you go. Now you can do it with the combinating resistance or bands. And that's pretty much what all the other reviews say. All right, so now we're gonna get into the movements that I really like to use for this machine. Check this out. So, so similar to a med ball throw, I'm going to come here with bands on and some weight, of course, and all I'm going to do is throw it. That is a really great movement to do before upper body days. I love that one. If I try that with the barbell, I'm going to throw it up and then I have to worry about the barbell turning, spinning, whatever, and then catching it wrong and it crushing me. Which hopefully it doesn't happen. Another movement I like with this thing is if someone's benching, you can ideally just this guy's benching. This guy over here is holding this down in one spot. So he's doing like an isometric. And then you let go of it and this flies forward. You can either catch it or it's gonna come back. I like that one too a lot. That's a, probably one of my second favorite ones. With the spudding strap, all you're gonna do is just slide this in here. So I don't have a cable column to do flies with, but this is the next best thing. Massive pumps with this one. That's just another variation that I like to use this machine for. It's just a basic row. I'm gonna come here. I like using that one too because you can never do enough upper back and it's really easy to do that for. Especially in the limited space I have with all the other pieces of equipment I got. It's a great piece. But one of the other reasons I really thought this was a great investment for a garage gym or a home gym is because how versatile it is with different athletes heights. So I'm 6'2", buddy, come here. And he's nine years old. Check this out. <clears throat> with this height difference, I can have him use the same machine I'm using just by placing some rubber risers. Thank you, UPS truck, who's not delivering my stuff today. So, these are just rubber mats. There's nothing really fancy about them. All you do is place them down here. Now I'm gonna have little man hit the same machine I'm doing, even though our bench might be pretty close. There's a big difference. pretty cool because then one selling point if I use it if my wife uses it and my son use it now we're splitting this three different ways so 33% that's a great selling point if you're trying to get the wifey to let you buy this definitely bring that up now the interesting part the part that I want to change with the machine or modify it to help suit my needs is Okay, so we have this one stopper right here. 
I really want another one right here, right? And then the other modification I want is this long arm. I want to cut this in half right there, place two little servo tubes and a, another pipe in, in there so I can use it by itself. Or I can use each arm basically individually. And then this is where the weight goes with it. But yeah, I think if we could split this and make it to where you can use, you press each arm individually or at the same time, I think that would be a huge benefit to this machine. But overall, I think this is one of the best machines you can get for the upper body. So that's my review on the Dyna Body Power Press. Overall, I think this is a magnificent piece to have. I love this machine. I first found out about it at Westside Barbell and I knew I had to have it. So because of how versatile it is, it's not really that big. It looks a lot bigger on the pictures, but it's not too big for a garage gym or home gym. It's you know pretty compact for what it does. And you got a lot of different uses you can use for it, right? You can do the rub. And hit that subscribe button, you'll be the first to know when me, when me and my dad post some strong videos. And thanks again for watching our strong channel. Peace out. Oh, what he said. <laughs> Hey, make sure you like, subscribe to the video, and uh, leave, drop me a comment. Let me know if you like it or not, or what, what other equipment you want me to do. I'm going to start doing a ton of other videos with all the different equipment I have and all the different variations that I use it for that you don't typically see. All right, stay strong.